What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. We're back from Idaho and now we're in a place that I grew up, which is South Georgia. Got Luke and Jake. Got some crawfish traps and some different kinds of baits. We're here to deer hunt. But during the middle of the day, me and these boys are gonna get into some trouble. We're gonna see if we can't catch some crawfish, shoot our guns a little bit, maybe shoot some squirrels. Hold on, Lukey. I gotta help you. Without busting my butt. I might bust my butt, huh? Come on. No, I can do it. I can bust. Oh god. You can do it. Hold my hand. Hold my hand. One, two, three. Go. You guys know us Arringtons. We're not gonna go anywhere and just do one thing. We're gonna do a bunch of things. We're up here visiting my buddy David Farmer and his daughter Haley and his daughter Natalie. Got Kelly Young with us. She's actually at a coffee shop uploading a video right now. So me and the boys were like, he almost fell. Heck with it, we're gonna go set crawfish traps. We got different kinds of baits, potted meat, cat food, some clams, some tuna, Animal. What do you think is going to catch the best? I don't know. Whatever has the most juice in it. Juice? Luke, don't get your boots wet. So for those of y'all that watch my channel and have been watching for a while, you see I do these kinds of videos quite often. For those of y'all that don't, these are little crawfish traps that I get offline. I order them off Amazon. They're $17 each and they're so much fun for little kids. And I'm an adult and they're fun. You open the zipper right here and they've got a little extra bag for the bait but when you're using cans like this drop it in zip it up and you're ready to go so from my experience with catching little creatures and crawfish and eels and all that in these traps they like to be able to be around structure somewhere where they can hide and at night they don't have to travel very far to find the bait in the trap i think i'm going to put it right there the first one looks like a good little spot right here All right, so trap number one is deployed. Looks like an old culvert pipe. And I dropped it down in there because there are all these rocks for crawled ads to hide in. Let's go set trap number two. For those of y'all that aren't into these type of videos, I wouldn't go anywhere because we're also deer hunting and I'm gonna show you a bunch of that too. Had to run and go get some scissors to poke holes in the tuna fish can. And I wanted to let those of y'all that watch a lot know that sometimes we gotta talk to people that don't watch us all the time because believe it or not, 34% of my views on my channel come from subscribers, which means a huge proportion comes from people that aren't subscribed yet. So that's why we talk to you guys sometimes as if we don't know you. We know most of you fans that watch all the time, but for the newcomers, we're glad you're here and I hope you stick around because this channel, my brother's channel, Deer Meat for Dinner, and my girlfriend's channel, Kelly Young, we do such a wide variety of videos. Trust me, if you stick around and check us out, you won't be going anywhere. All right, so we moved down away from the bridge where he set the first trap, about 40 yards. I gotta talk loud because this river's real noisy. I'm gonna take clams in this trap, just a little can of clams. And I'm gonna put it right here where the current's not going as hard. Put it right in here. I got a rock in there. All right, I got this whole trap set. I don't know if it'll work really well in that swift current. So the next one we're gonna put in a lot less current. So we got trap number one, trap number two. And Come on, Luke. Trap number three. You want the opening facing the current. So with these tubular traps, I try to leave them to where they're not completely submerged in case the turtle gets in them. And the cool thing about these traps is they come with a little rope. Nothing's taking it now. See how it has just a little bit of air? That way if a turtle gets in there, he can live. 
or an eel or any type of thing that breathes. All right, let's go do number four right down there. Y'all leave a comment below if you love exploring creeks and little ditches and ponds and swamps. We're here in Georgia, just pulled over on the side of the road, a little bit of a creek. We're setting out some traps. All right, we're gonna finish putting out these three traps and then I'll see y'all back at the house. Look at this though. Look at this before we go anywhere. Look at that buck rub. And that joker is fresh. Look at that buck rub, Luke. Whoa. Luke, do you know what a buck rub is? What? That's where he rubs his horns on the tree and his scent glands. Huh? That's pretty cool. We could sit here and do crawfish and bust a buck. Oh, yeah. Literally, guys, we could hang a tree stand right here, shoot a deer, and catch crawfish. Luke, you're supposed to keep the water out of your boots. I think it shows because you're soaking wet from your waist down. All right, guys, I want to show you something that I've talked about in my videos before, but never really had one to show you. You might have heard me talk about a wait a minute vine. What's a wait a minute vine? That's a wait a minute vine right there. That's a fern vine. The reason we call it a wait a minute vine is because when you get hung up in it and your buddy behind you is pushing you, you're screaming, wait a minute. All right, that's trap number five. We're pretty good ways from the bridge. Luke's fell on the water about eight times. Jake's helping me out. Got a trap right there, number four. They're all the way back to the truck. This creek is so beautiful. Late October. No, wait, it's not late October. It's early November. It's early November. We're deer hunting, it's hot. So we're not in a rush to get back to our tree stands today. Even though it is the rut here in Georgia, when it's this hot, the bucks have already gained a lot of weight. They're not gonna be moving in the middle of the day so maybe some of them will we're hoping they move right at dark though and if they do we're gonna be there to bust them so you can tell those juices are working see all that stuff right there in the water what is that it's the scent and it's the juice so the crawdads will smell that but come right to it that's your fun fact of the week your second fun fact is if you don't listen to your dad your boots will get full of water so we got all five traps out we're headed back to the house because for those of y'all that have been following us, you know I just got home from Idaho doing a steelhead fishing trip down the Snake River. We brought one of those steelheads back, kept him on ice, and we're headed back to the house right now to clean and cook them in this video. Then we're going deer hunting. So y'all stick around. We're only just beginning. All right, you guys, we're in a rush to get to our tree stand. But first, we're gonna clean this bad boy because this is what we're eating for dinner. A steelhead from Idaho. Wow, he's a big old fish. That's a big old trout, isn't it, Luke? I've never cleaned anything like this before. I guess I've cleaned little rainbow trout before, but nothing like a steelhead. It kind of looks like a, uh, um, I don't know. And I didn't even, I didn't even watch Robert. Look how gorgeous. That meat is though. I don't know if I can make it taste as good as it did on the river bank of the Snake River, but the recipe I got for you guys tonight, I guarantee you, is gonna be close to it. This meat's so oily and so nice. This is proof that if you take care of your fish, you can make it last a long time and you can bring it home from wherever you're at on any trip that you're at. All right, we're headed to the tree stand. Turn the camera around and show them your outfit. Why can you see me? <laughs> She's blended. Look at, look at Luke's hunting outfit. <laughs> you blend in with the dinosaurs? <laughs> All right, well, if we kill something, you'll see it. If we don't, the next time you see me, we'll be cooking this. All right, you guys, we didn't see anything this evening, but Luke and I sat, my five-year-old sat my brand new double bull blind. I had to tell you guys about this. I have no affiliation with them whatsoever, but if you have kids and you hunt, or you're elderly or in a wheelchair, or you just want to sit comfortably on the ground, this blind, you can see out of it, but you can't see in it. Crazy. I 
Just got it, didn't know how it worked, set it up, and it works awesome. My buddy Tyler here, this is David Farmer's brother up here in North Georgia. North, is this North Middle. Georgia? Middle Georgia, we're south of Atlanta. So, I cut the pin bones out of that piece of salmon. He's a cook himself, he's like, oh no, no. I wasn't gonna cook that, I was gonna use it in a crawfish trap. Tyler's like, we're fixing to cook it. All right, so I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do real quick. This is something different than I've ever done on my channel. Just got a baking pan with some olive oil in it. Got the steel head. Just gonna lay it in there like so. We got a lot of people here, Tyler, his wife, Haley, which is David's daughter, my kids, and I got my beautiful girlfriend Kelly behind the camera who's on her first real deer hunt. She did hunt in Benel, which was a hunt, but she didn't hunt very much. So we're here and we're hunting, but unfortunately a heat wave has hit South Georgia and it's hot. It's been cold all month, and now it's hot. So the deer movement slowed down. Should I tell them about my miss this morning? Yeah. No, you, sh you don't have to always tell about the miss. <laughs> I was sitting in my stand this morning and not a huge buck, but a shootable buck came through and I drew back and I didn't lean out far enough over my tree stand. My cam hit my arrow, which dropped my bow and I shot straight down and missed him. So I don't have as much room as I need, but you guys get the point. All I did was lay the salmon in there. Got a little bit of floury garlic salt, that like so. All right, so what he's pouring in there Mushrooms, diced onions, and these really cool potatoes I found today. They're different colored potatoes. A little bit of olive oil and a lot of butter. But can you smell it? Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I'm gonna put this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. Once it's out, I'm gonna put the sauce on it. We're gonna go to town. So I also have some of these bean threads. I ain't exactly sure what it is, but I know it's going to be good. We're going to put this down, put all the fish and potatoes on top, and pour this sauce on it. So good. Redneck, show that live hood, boss. Get it, Redneck. Get it, Redneck. What'd you do, tie that to his collar? Yeah. My dog's like, bro, get this little thing away from me. Luke, tell all your fans about what we heard out of the tree stand tonight. What was it? Coyotes. How many? Like. <laughs> was that your first time hearing coyotes out in the wild? Yeah, it was a little spooky, not gonna lie. Those coyotes were so close to Luke and I tonight in the blind. Luke was talking all day how he wanted to sit by himself. When those coyotes started howling, he's like, oh, he got my lap. All right, you guys, look at that. All the sauce and fat and juicy goodness came out of that steelhead. Potatoes are cooked just right, onions, mushrooms. The rice noodles, I just sort of winged it. One of my original videos on YouTube, I made rice noodles and they were so good and I love them. But they're not like visually, they're nothing special visually is what I'm trying to say. That's like a feast. And this fish never had a clue it was coming to South Georgia. It's been from Idaho to Denver, Denver to Florida, Florida to Georgia. And it's still really fresh. Please. Haley, yes, sir. tell all your fans what just happened to your favorite team. <laughs> oh, he's giving me heck about uh, Florida beating Georgia. 28 to 40. I'll take she's like Robert. She's over here, I'm cooking and she's yelling at the TV. I'm like, Haley, they can't hear you. She's screaming, run, Forrest, run. And I'm like, you guys. Robert will... What y'all don't know about deer meat for dinner, he will straight up scream at the TV, get pissed off, throw things at it, yell, holler. Huh? And now I'm definitely not eating the meat. You're gonna go hungry then is all I can tell you. Oh. All right y'all, we got all the plates set. It's time for Jake to say the blessing. Thank you dear Lord for this day. Thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. Thank you for this wonderful food and thank you for everything you did. Thank you for letting us go buck hunting safely and have fun. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Jake, there was only one thing wrong with that prayer. What? I was deer hunting. I wasn't deer, buck yeah. hunting. <laughs> I was shooting whatever We're shooting came out. Everything. All right, girls. Let's see. And Tyler, let's try it. Girls. Tyler's Tyler. the biggest girl. <laughs> Luke, 
Go first, quick. Point, look at the camera and tell Kelly what you think. Mmm, good. You ain't even tasted it yet and you're saying, mmm, good. Mmm, good. Man, that's good. It is good. Mm -hmm. Nobody's talking right now, so I had to break the silence. <laughs> we gotta try it again. Hang on. I couldn't tell. The rice noodles were... Expensive. They soak up the juices. That's what's mm -hmm. nice. I was thinking about, like, where do they come into play? They actually soak up all the juices, and then you don't have to use a spoon. Mm. Mm. It's an mm. apple. What do you think about the mushrooms? Is mm -hmm. the fish good? Mm-hmm. Fish is very good. Is that the first time you've ever ate steelhead? Yeah, for sure. Steelhead. That's really good. Ooh. All right, you guys, we're going to put the camera down. I know Kelly's starving. She's watching us eat. <laughs> we'll see y'all in the morning when we're pulling the crawfish traps or hopefully cleaning the deer. Are you going to hurry up and shoot something? I was waiting on you, big dog. I missed. <laughs> I'm the only one who had a shot at the deer today, and I swung and a miss. <laughs> we'll see y'all in the morning. All right, well, no deer this morning. Kelly saw a nice buck. Me, Jake, Luke, David. Didn't see any. We're back to pull the traps though. I'm super interested to see if we actually catch anything. Where's y'all shoes at? We don't need them. Don't need them. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. You get something? Oh, oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Look at the crawdad. Jeez Gosh. Louise! Oh my God. There's two of them! There's one in there that's like a lobster. Literally. Jeez. All right, let's, we'll show them down at the next trap. Here, I'll tote this. That's crazy! And Dad, that trap even had a hole in it. Dad, there's that. still fish in there. Don't All right, Dad, come right here to this next one. Luke, you get to pull the next one. Look yeah. at that thing, guys. There's two mega giants. Come on, Luke. Pull that rope ah. in. Kel, let's get those fish out of there. Those are bass fish. Pull it in. Whoa, there's something big Pick in it. Pick it up and pull it. One, two, three. Whoa. I can't see. Open it up. There's a big rock in there. Reach in there and pull that rock out. Oh, dude, we, dude, we got a rock. Oh my. What do you got in there? Look what Luke got. Uh, he's scrapping. Oh. oh, he got loose, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? The world's biggest crow dad bit him when he was pulling it out. It was literally as big as that one. <laughs> hey, suck it up, Buttercup. Look at me. You're not hurt. You're just mad he got loose. Luke has a bad pass. Oh, he did leave a pretty big print. All right, suck it up. We're in the woods with boys. Dry up them alligator tears. Did you see how big it was that bit him? Was there just one in there? Yeah, and it got loose, but that's all right. We're not even wanting to do anything but just have fun. Let's see. He's got, he'll, he'll go back and make more. Well, we got, I had a You can pull the next one. Let me see, there could be one more in here. Oh, look, look, look. Oh my God. Hold on. Did he just get out? There was a huge one in there. Oh, he's still in there. He's in there. That's All right, let Luke get him out. Right. Reach in there, Luke. That's the biggest one. That's, I don't yeah. want to. You don't want to? Reach in there and get him, Luke. I Just don't grab him by the claws. Get get Where's behind he his head, okay? Grab Here, him let like me a hold monster. It. I got his claws. No. Reach, Reach in. in there and pull him out. <laughs> Reach in and grab him by the he's head. Like, that last oh, one bit the snot out of me. <laughs> get him, Luke. There's another one in there, Kelly. Hold on. Yeah. Pull him out, Luke. All right, here, let me get him. Pinch it. Look, catch him right here, and he can't pinch you, okay? Hold him right there. Now, pinch his head in his claws. Hold him. Okay, now Let I can't go with get your him. right hand. There Show him to the camera. So, hold him out. Look, you Son. See, he's as big as your hand. Oh, you, you just got oh, bit, and you want to get bit again. Oh, guys, there, there was a little fish in there. We, we huh? turned him loose. Look at those alligator tears. Hey, are you a big kid or what? Let me see. Look how big the claws are. I did you put your fingers in it. You ready to go pull the next trap? Mm -hmm. Let's throw them all in one trap. Yeah, let's put them in this one. We don't have a bucket. 
So we're gonna put them all in that little trap and carry them out of here. All right, this is the one I have the most high hopes for. Go get it. Right here in this little waterfall. And there's a big rock right there creating a little eddy. Untie it from the branch first. Let's get the mud off it. I hear something. It's pretty heavy too. Oh, that's because there's a rock in there. Let me see. Oh. Dang, just when I had high hopes for it, nothing but bluegills or whatever those things are. Let's show them a sunfish. Here, get get in there and get one out and show them, Jake. Yeah. I thought for sure this one was going to have the most. Right here in this little eddy next to the waterfall. What is that? That's a warm mouth, ain't it? It's a sunfish. Type of brim. That's why they call them sunfish. They got that uh, orange belly. Leave a comment below and tell me what that was because I have no idea. Come on, Luke. Get one. I got this little cute one. Oh, it's a little cute one? Oh, it... All right, turn him loose before he dies. There's more in there. Let's go check the other trap. Ah. In case any of y'all are wondering why I'm wearing this fluorescent orange shirt on top of my beautiful camouflage, it's gun season here in Georgia, and that's the law. You have to. I think I'm going to pull this one without him. Oh, a catfish. Catfish in this one. I don't know what this is. What is that, everybody? Oh. What is it, Luke? Jake? I don't know. Baby shark? I'm going to turn it loose before it dies. Look at it's this cat catfish, yeah. Catfish. I don't think this is a walking catfish. I think that's a baby flathead, Luke. Ah. Turn him loose, so let's not let him die. A... Make yeah. sure there's nothing else in there, Jake. Yeah, right here. This Turn him loose, Luke. Right? There he goes. Jeez Louise! Luke, if that... God! I can't take it. Now you know what Luke feels. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> It's in my hand. Luke, I apologize for giving you a hard time, buddy. Did it bite you that hard? Yeah. Ooh. That's one tough it kid. That the... might be the toughest kid I think I've ever seen. Yeah, it bite the crap out of me. <laughs> it, did, it, bit, it literally bit the crap out of me. Yeah. That hurt. Look what it, it bit through the skin of my hand. That's what it did with Luke. Ooh. What are you going to do with that, Luke? Turn him loose. All right, you guys, we came. We didn't know if there was crawdads in here or not. We caught three mega giant ones. We actually had a fourth, but it bit Luke as he was getting it out of the trap. And me being a dad, I raised my kids to be tough. I said, I'll oh, shake it off. That one that just bit me was an eight on pain, I can tell you. Ease him in the water, nice and easy, Luke. I want to see it walk. No, don't throw him out there in the current. Put him right where Luke's turn Jake's turning his loose. Oh, it's so cool how they walk. It looks so cool. Hold on, Luke. Let me have one and you have one. All right, little buddy. It was nice meeting you. He's going right back to where he came from. Luke, where are you going? Of course, Luke's got to go somewhere. Oh, he's going to go right over here. Different than where we turned ours, Luke. Hold on. She needs to film it. Come on. Hey, I'm gonna put my my little friend in here. Right? And he has a little hole right there. Right? You sure he can get out of there? Um, climb out of the way up here and walk over there to the water. Here, let's turn him loose where he can get away so a raccoon doesn't get him. Yeah. Put him right there. That's like a little honey hole too. Yeah. Here, you got him. Look at the hold on a sec. Look how they got red right down them. Hey, look, remember on our crappie video when you put him on my ear? Yeah. Well, yeah. Listen, 
I wouldn't have done that because that joker bites hard. But I will do it to Jake. Here, Jake. <laughs> All right, quit. I didn't do it here, Luke. Don't even lose. Here. All right. Say bye. I need to put this little rock right here. Uh, you know what time it is? It's time to go shoot a deer. But like Jake always says, this video is ending right now. We're going to start making another one. We're going to show you all how we pack for Mexico because this might be the biggest trip me and Kelly's ever been on. We got to pack spear guns, fishing poles, enough luggage for six days in the middle of absolute nowhere. There's no people where we're going except for our guide. Hey, what time is it? Time to get the heck out of shape. See y'all. Yeah.